Hello, all you beautiful, valid people out there, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Dong and Rapa 2 to Goodbye Despair. I'm here with my friend and co-host. Hey everyone, it's your girl, Araya. Welcome to the next episode of Dong and Rapa 2. Give us money on the Patreon. We want to go to Argentina. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <Jim. laughs> If you start the video with it, they're more likely to give us money. Think about it. I mean, if you say so. I need to get my hands on a passport if we're going to Argentina. Anyways, Nagitos is about to commit a war crime. Do you guys remember? Yep. Uh, do you guys remember Pearl Harbor? Yep. He's doing that. He's doing that. I was about to say, do you believe in Pearl Harbor, but I realized that'd be really offensive. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> A little bit too far. <laughs> this is your fault. You're making me record at 12.41 a.m. I'm not making you do anything, Jay. <laughs> There's a gun to my head, and you said, we won't go to Argentina unless you record this video. And I said, please, <laughs> wait, I want to go meet Kazathy. And you said, shut up. <laughs> Slander. Gender. What? Maybe Adam will buy tickets to Argentina. Anyways, let's go see if, if another... Terrible terrorist attack is committed. Yes, let's. Araya, I'm uncomfortable with the energy we create in the studio today. <laughs> Alright. Um, <laughs> new energy time. <laughs> Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day! I'm terrified. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Yeah, let's give it our all for the next two hours that we have. <laughs> Scenery this morning is the same as it ever was. I can see the sunlight peeking through the window. I can hear the faint sound of waves crashing on the beach. The bombs Nagito said are going to destroy all... Imagine if he... And I can hear the bombs Nagito said... Wait! And then just... He just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's 11... Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I love sitcom timing. Why can't everything have sitcom timing? Once, once time runs out at noon. At the moment, there's nothing but outer situation that's changing for the better. Usually I go to the restaurant, but what should I do today? As long as I remember what Nagito said. Oh, by the way, I'll be waiting here. So if you want to reveal yourself, come see me anytime. No. Mr. or Miss Trader. At least you aren't talking in my ear anymore. Sounds like he was planning to hang out at, at the restaurant all day. Wait a minute. He's going to be there all day? Then if anyone went to the restaurant like they normally do... Bad feeling lingering in my chest grew with each beat of my frantic heart. I immediately ran out of my cottage. Alright. You make sure the situation hasn't evolved at the restaurant? Yep. We do be zooming though. Yep, just Don't continue to leave it. What? There's no hope. <laughs> That's okay. We'll get hope after. Okay, the moment I set foot inside the restaurant, the worst case scenario was unfolding before me. Shit! Playtime's over. Now, where'd you hide the bombs? That hurts, but I'll never tell. If you really want me to spit it out, you should try torturing me or something. Sounds like a kink thing. Huh? Torture? Maybe you can stab my fingers with that fork over there, or scoop my eyes out with that spoon. Wait a minute. He's trying to make someone murder him. Interesting. If you're not willing to fill me with despair, there's no way my hope will ever burn. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he's, she's choking him out. Connie's hand suddenly wrapped around Nagito's neck and his face begins turning a startling shade of red. What's wrong with me? Just die already! 
I kinda know. Her clenched hands kept squeezing even tighter. As if she was trying to snap his neck instead of just strangling him. Hey, hey. What are you doing? Akane. Hey, hey, are, are you alright? Isn't he seriously gonna die? She was too overcome by rage to acknowledge this. Slap. Huh? Calm down. You go, Chiaki. Okay? Let's go. The question is where'd she slap her, though? Right there on that cheek. It's red. I was joking. You never <laughs> let me do anything fun, Araya. You wouldn't it's true. Do something like that, right? You're not the kind of person who would hurt someone. Like I can't make offensive jokes, and I can't go to Argentina. Right? God damn it. <laughs> Araya, did you know felons aren't allowed in Canada? Makes sense. And did you know that John Green is on a watch list to go to Canada? <laughs> Why? Because one time he went there and he didn't have enough money to be there and they, they arrested him for it. And now he's on a watch list so every time he tries to go to Canada, they always stop him and put him in a white room and say, what the hell are you trying to do? Yikes. It's kind of funny though. See, it's all that right. sucks. Yep, no problem. John Green is coincidentally my favorite author. John Green's great. I love him. I love him very much. I love his TED Talk, and I watched a lot of his videos. Vlog Brothers are great. Yeah. And also Crash. I've been watching Plus. a lot more, a lot, a lot of vlog, but a lot of Vlog Brothers lately. They're great. We appreciate Chiaki. Sorry, I I'm awake now. What was I doing anyway? Hey, hey. That's what I, I, well, I want to ask. Don't tell me you were actually thinking about killing him. And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, I saw him slowly stand up. Thanks. Thank you, Akane. I got to see my dead dog again. I haven't seen him in ages. What the fuck? <laughs> Serves you right. You probably pissed off Akane in the first place. Hmm. I didn't mean to do that, though. Anyway, thank you for saving me. It looks like I owe you one. If you sincerely mean that, please tell us the password to enter the ancient ruin. Huh? The password to that ancient ruin? What are you going to do with that? Don't play dumb. You've hidden the bombs inside that ruin, right? You're right. Yep, I did. <laughs> Until yesterday. What? He moved them, huh? Hey, Nagito, what do you mean by until yesterday? Well... There wasn't anything important inside the ancient ruin, just some familiar scenery. Yep. Familiar scenery? That's what Hajime says. Yeah, I said that before Hajime said it. Familiar scenery? Jeez. I got bored of it. Also, if I hid them there, it would be completely meaningless. So even if you had managed to learn the password to the ancient ruin, it had no meaning anymore. Now that I've moved the bomb somewhere else... But they were inside that ancient ruin, right? I'm glad. Anyway, I guess it was right for me to move them. They were about to be found before the traitor confessed. Well, it's not like it really matters. In fact, that might and that might be better. Amazing. To make hope shine even brighter. Bastard. Stop talking crazy and tell us where you moved the bombs already. <laughs> Looks like you're in a hurry. Well, that's understandable. After all, time runs out today. Hey. Then let's bring the final battle. The final battle between the traitor and everyone else. <laughs> The final battle between hope and despair. The place I hid the bomb this time is a place you've all visited at least once. Hey, hey, hey. That's it? a lot of places. It's too broad. See? It shouldn't be that hard if you guys split up. For now, why don't you guys search everywhere as fast as you can? As long as everyone cooperates, it should be easy to find out where the bombs are. Well, what the heck? This is exciting. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way Hope can lose. Also, the fact that he slipped in that the traitor confessed and no one said anything about it is nuts. <laughs> Absolute Hope that can break through any despair can never lose in a place like this. Not only that, I believe in you all. I believe in the time we spent together. And more than everything, I believe in my ultimate luck! So it's gonna be fine. As long as you believe in your hope with all your hearts, the path should open. With that, Nagito walked away. 
I'm left just with a sinister mixed message. Why does he still have to be alive? Now's not the time to complain about stuff like that. Besides, we don't even we don't have time to fight among ourselves. We must hurry and search for the bombs. We should still have time to stop them. I mean, but based on all the places we searched, I don't know where we should look. The only thing we can do is split up and cover as much ground as we can. There are exactly six of us. Each person should be in charge of it, searching an island. Damn it. Then leave this island to me. I already have the layout of this island in my head. Thank you, Mini Maru. Hmm. Kind of had the first island, I only the second one. <laughs> Miss Sonia should, should get the smallest island. Are you okay with searching the central island? Huh? But, but. Probably not good at covering ground anywhere, right? It's fine, you can search the central island. Jackie, you search the third island at the hospital. Hajime, you search the amusement park island. And I'll handle the final island. Alright, then let's do it. Mm. Let's hurry up and find those bombs so we can take care of Nagito once and for all. So but how would they four. let they know, each other know that they found it? We stormed out of the restaurant and immediately left to search for the bombs. We didn't have time to we even think about everybody. who the traitor is. Guys, found it. But it's ironic. Nagito is the reason we're all splitting up, but the reason we're all cooperating is because of Nagito, too. It's pretty damn ironic. I'm in charge of searching the fourth island. I should search every new looking cranny. According to Nagito, the bombs have enough power to easily wipe out this entire island. And it's probably not very small. I'll definitely find it. Alright. We can't go into the horror first. No one's been to the horror house, so we can't go in there. No one's been to the horror house. Nezumi Castle. We have all been here now. Yep. Bombs shouldn't be small. If I find them, it should be really obvious. Damn it, look like there's nothing in here. Okay, it's not in there. Alright, nothing in the castle. Damn it, I don't see the freaking bombs anywhere. Nothing good will come from rushing. I should look somewhere else. Alright, roller coaster? Yep. Nope, looks like there's nothing Could here. Be anywhere here? You want to check the coaster? Yeah. I mean, it's supposed to be big enough to where we can see it, right? Oh, whoa, whoa, Hajime! What? I don't have time to deal with you. Did you see? Did you see? Huh? Robber! Robber? Yeah, this is bad. My important thing got stolen. Her important thing was stolen? That's all the time we do with her. I need to fire and five those bombs. So it's not in there. Um. What? Sure. Nothing. Sure what? Nothing. Train? Possible the bombs were placed inside the train. No use, I don't see anything that looks like a bomb. Alright. And that's everything here. Yep. I should probably have checked that roller coaster, but I can always just go back. Team, I don't see the freaking bombs anywhere. I think it will come from resting. I should try to look somewhere else. I think you have to check the roller coaster. Cool. No use, there's nothing suspicious here either. Damn, I don't see the freaking bombs anywhere. Okay, um. Nice calves of the achievement that I just unlocked. Let's go. Oh, uh, I know why. I, I know why it didn't trigger yet. Why? There it is. <laughs> is that doors open? So I can go inside, but it's impossible that the bombs are hidden here. All right, let's go. I don't think that's a bomb. It scares me to think it could be a bomb. Nobody's been here yet, though. That's true. How should I describe this place? It's so clingly cute that I feel like I'm going to be sick. No. No. Oh, 
why, why is Hajime in my house? The door was wide open. Oh, uh, uh, what? As soon as she heard that, Monami walked out of the door and... Yeah, it's broken. My security system is broken. The robber probably did it. No, robber is no excuse. A female teacher with a young boy student in her house is just inappropriate. Ah, I've been splattered with disgrace. Geez, she's noisy. Are these monitors? They're not displaying anything right now, but why are there so many? Are you monitoring us with those? <gasps> so, I was right. Surveillance cameras all over the island. The footage these cameras are recording. You were watching that footage on these monitors. You were monitoring us, weren't you? I was until Monokuma appeared. I no longer have my magic stick, and because of that, Monokuma stole all my powers. So I don't have the authority to monitor everyone anymore. These monitors are useless. Huh? What does that stick have to do with the surveillance cameras? <laughs> anyway, I can't monitor everyone anymore. I have no other way of following your movements unless I rely on those on, on those, these somewhat nifty ears. I don't really understand, but does that mean Monokuma has been watching us from the su surveillance cameras? That's wrong. No, it's probably not him either. In his current state, he shouldn't even need those to use those cameras. His power keeps increasing beyond my expectations. He's surpassed any standard of measuring it. Hey, stop talking about stuff that doesn't make sense. Who's watching the surveillance cameras? They probably only matter to the outside. Outside? Do you mean the group that's controlling you and Monokuma? I see, so the people outside the island are watching the footage captured by the surveillance cameras and... Well, let's just brush this, that whole thing aside. There's no way I can do that. Um... But I can't say. Hey. Just try and cover it up by crying. It's exactly what Monokuma does. Just as I thought <laughs> I can't Monokuma trust her does? at all. Nope, that isn't what Monokuma <laughs> does, but you know. <laughs> it's close enough. What the heck is this? Monomi plushies on hangers? my things without permission they're important your own plushies must love yourself just like monokuma you're wrong please don't compare me to that thing you don't have enough delicacy entering a woman's house without her permission and touching her things makes your teacher very sad this will not be allowed hajime needs a class in morality delicacy and morality i don't think those things have anything to do with each other i shall give you a special private lesson after school Miss Monami will slowly and thoroughly give you a good teaching. Oh, well, that, that sounds really inappropriate. <laughs> oh, once again, I've been splattered with disgrace. Such a sticky and gooey disgrace. Hey, yo. You're the one who started saying it. That's everything. Oh, yeah, she said something about a robbery. We need to check on her about that. Uh, I've been splattered with disgrace. Such sticky disgrace. That's a weird thing to call it, but okay. So anyway, you said something about a robber. You talking about Monokuma? Hmm. Monokuma wouldn't do something as cheap as breaking the lock. Ever since he took over my power, he can do anything he wants on this island for as long as he wills it. Power? Will? You're always so melodramatic. But if it wasn't Monokuma, does that mean the robber is one of us? <laughs> I'm not doubting my students or anything, but my important thing was definitely stolen. What's your important thing anyway? My treasure box! I don't think any of us would steal Monami's treasure box. But if someone did, why would they steal it in the first place? Um, can you let me know if you find my treasure? It is a magnificent treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights. Well, if I come across it... Alrighty, that's enough of your questions. Now it's my turn to question you! Me? Why did you suddenly come to the amusement park? It's strange that you're walking around alone. Did something happen? Something did happen. Huh? That's right, I don't have time to waste a plate like this. Hey, I need to ask you an important question. Do you know where they are? Somewhere on Jabberwock Island, Nagito. Hey, hey, hey! Why, hello there, Monami. What a play with your big brother. Monokuma? <laughs> what is with your sudden invitation? We've never played before. Come on, everyone's busy. You shouldn't interfere. So hurry up and go play with me. Oh, my ears. Please don't pull my ears. I'll leave the rest to you. I'll let you students handle the rest. Do your best. Damn. Jesus Christ. He always interferes whenever we're discussing something important. I guess he really is monitoring us. 
No, now's not the time to exp complain. I should get back to searching for the bombs. I shouldn't waste any more time. I left out of the Monomy house and returned to searching for the bombs. Hey. Hajime! I found them! You found them? Yeah, a shit ton of bombs were piled on top of each other. God damn! I didn't expect to find actual bombs. Wh where did you find them? Near that stupid factory where the life-size Monokuma plushies are made. The plushie factory? Got it. I'll go tell, Ka I'll go tell Kazuichi it. And Kane, can you tell Sonia and Chiaki? Yeah, I got it. We'll meet in front of the bombs later. Meet in front of the bombs. What's going to happen after that? We'll be able to stop them? No, there's no point thinking about that right now. I need to tell Sion Sonia and Chiaki about the bombs first. Sonia should be at the central island. Chiaki should be at the third. All right. Go find Sonia and Chiaki. So Sonia's on the central island. Yep. The only place in the island where bombs could probably be hidden is Jabberwock Park. Maybe Sony is. Okay, we gotta go to Jabberwock Park. I don't remember where Jab Jabberwock Park is. I go is. left. You go left? Cool. Probably. No, actually, go right. Oh, fuck off. That's wrong. It's right. Boo! Only two despair bars? That's cringe. Monomy deserves nothing but the worst. Let's go. Alright. Uh oh. Huh? That's weird. I don't see her anywhere. Hey, Sonia! I'm right here. Oh, never mind. Just kidding, it's only me. Yes, indeed. Hajime used to call Sonia, but nothing happened. Gotta hate Pokemon. But nobody came. Because she's already gone to a faraway place. Huh? <laughs> Heaven. Just kidding! <laughs> if you like looking for Sonya, she was walking around near the military base. The military base? The one on the final island? She already hear about the bombs? Is that why she went to the final island? But even so, there's no reason for her to be at the military base. Because the bombs were found at the plushie factory. I don't really understand, but I'll head over there after I talk to Chiaki. Maybe she went to the base on her own without knowing anything about the bombs. Chiaki should be at the third island. Alright, let's go. Can you do me a favor real quick? Yeah. Try to go to the first island and see if the game will let you. Why? Uh, just to pick up some water bottles, just in case we don't get a chance to later. Okay, probably won't though. Yeah. Now's not the time to okay. get distracted, let's hurry. Makes sense, because there's a bomb about to go off. He's got such long legs. Maybe we'll be able to later. He's such a skinny boy. <laughs> How do Hopefully we'll be able to when we can miss our chance. Yeah, we'll figure it out. It's okay if we didn't. It's not the end of the world. It is what it is. It's what it's. Hmm, near the music venue, is that? It is, it's Chiaki. Music venue oh, is right flashbacks. here. Oh, Hospital yeah, flashback. music venue. Leave me alone. <laughs> Chiaki, I've been looking for you. What happened? That. Don't respond so slowly. It's the bombs. We found the bombs. Hurry over to the flush plushie factory. Huh. Hey, are you listening? This is no time to space out. Yep. Uh, you're right. The bombs, the bombs are bad, right? We gotta go to the plushie factory. I'll head over. At least be a little more nervous. Even in a situation like this, she moves at a snail's pace. All right, I should hurry over to the final island and meet up with Sony at the military base. All right. Mew. Mew. We zoom in. We do be zooming, though. We do be, that's true. Mew. Look how fast he goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when you do that, your pet doesn't... Doesn't. That's true. I we go to the plushie factory and you meet up with Sony at the military base. Look how fast he is. He's so fast. He's zooming.
Sonia, there she is. What is she doing in a place like this? Looks like Sonia is digging around the back of the truck. Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> My. Uh, Hajime, please do not startle me. I am concerned. Phew. I thought my heart was going to explode. Explode? A anyway, what are you doing here? Were you searching the central island? Um, I was, but there was something I needed to confirm here. Never mind that for now. We found them. Um, what did you find? The bombs, obviously. They found the bombs at the plushie factory. Huh? huh? The bombs are at the factory? Let's hurry over to the plushie factory. That should be there, too. Hey, what are you stalling for? If we don't hurry, it'll be too late. You are right. I understand. I shall make my way there shortly, so please go on without me. Huh? I am sorry. It's going to be fine. I will catch up with you soon. Got it. Then I'll start heading over. I don't know what Sonya wants to do, but there's no time to argue about it. Let's Sonya for now and decide to go to the plushie factory first. I'm really scared she's the traitor, bro. I'm so scared. <laughs> but why is she even at the military base? I can just ask her later. Anyway, the bombs are biggest priority. I shall hurry over to the plushie factory. All right, plushie factory. Plushy factory. Hey, look, it's a giant hidden Monokuma. <laughs> Where's Sonia? I told her about the bombs, but she wouldn't listen to me. She said she'd catch up with us later. Later? Why? She should know that now isn't the time for that, but. Well... Can I go bring her? Do you really think there's time for that, you fucking dumbass? You're right, we need to stop. We need to stop. Oh, I hit the wrong button. The bombs oh, first. The pet needed something. Huh? Check on the pet, okay? Oh, it died. Oops. What the fuck? <laughs> you didn't tell me that could <laughs> <Whatever>. happen. <laughs> Oops, Ghosty me! It's ghosty me! <laughs> we killed the fat oops. Let's go! <laughs> Alright, let's go! That's okay. We they steal the nerves and charge into the factory. First thing I noticed was the roaring engine of a nearby truck. A truck? Why? There's a truck parked in the middle of the factory. A lot of dangerous looking objects floated on the bed of the truck. Hey, 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 but those things on top of the bed, is that? Damn it. I don't know how powerful they are, if, or if they have enough power to blow up the entire island, but if there are that many, they must be extremely powerful. Do we really drive this truck and carry over all these bombs? Kazuichi, can't you disarm these bombs? You're good at that kind of stuff, right? Hmm. I thought I could, but looks like the engine is also acting as the detonator. Damn it, so that's why the engine's still running. Bombs are set up so when the engine stops running, insulator will blow off and trigger the explosion. I don't care how it's built. Can you disarm it or not? Uh, it's impossible. I don't have enough time. The main detonator was put inside this bulky metal box and welded shut. Uh, There's no way I can disarm it if I can't get this thing open. So it's going to take you a long time? That's not good. I mean, it's almost... This is bad. Yeah. Noon. What if we use the tools at the military base? I don't have time for that. Truck engine is the detonator, right? Then can't we stall for time by adding gas? It's no use. The fuel cap has been welded on too. I'm gonna do it. Then I'll just drive the truck into the sea. Bastard. You can't. Don't, you don't even have a driver's license. Please, go shut up. <laughs> this is gonna stop me. I thought your family was all about breaking the law. Damn it. But even that's impossible. There's a chain wrapped around the wheel. If we can't disarm the bomb, stall for time, or move the truck. There's nothing we can do. Hey, check it out. Huh? See? There's some kind of machine on top of that metal box, Kazuichi you mentioned. Huh? Hmm? The machine on top of the box? Oh, this. This looks like a card reader. A card reader? Hmm. Maybe. We can disarm the bomb if we swipe the key card. Are you serious? What? Hmm. Wait, that might be possible. Nagito wouldn't be able to disarm these bombs if he didn't leave something to way of doing that, right? Huh? Maybe you never planned to disarm them from the start. No, I don't think that's it. Nagito is probably trying to make us do something here. What do you mean, something? So... Knowing Nagito, there's definitely some kind of theme to this, I think. A theme? Hm. A bastard probably would do something messed up like that. Right. We gotta find that! 
gotta find that. I love Me Mini Mario, my boy. Nagito is trying to make us do something here. If that's true, what's he trying to make us do this time? This truck is just one big bomb. Nagito's theme has to do with disarming the bomb might be around here. I need to try to find that first. Manufacturing equipment. All the machines are stopped. More importantly, what's that thing over there? Was that there when I first came here? The laptop. A laptop? The laptop on top of the stop conveyor belt. This wasn't here the last time I came here, right? How suspicious. Hmm, it looks suspicious. It might be good if we examine it thoroughly. Yeah, you're right. As soon as I touched the laptop, some kind of program began running all of a sudden. And almost immediately, a video started playing. Hello there. Why, hello everyone. Good work. So you really found the bombs, huh? Believing in you was completely worth it. Nagito. Perhaps. It looks like a video message from Nagito. Pissed me off. A video message? If he's got something to say, he can say it to our faces. Hey, just hold on. For now, let's just watch this through to the end. Now, then. now that you guys have found the bombs, all you need to do is stop it. To tell you the truth, it's actually not that hard to do. You see, there's a card reader on top of the metal box. As long as you scan any handbook, it'll disarm the bombs. Leave it to me. All right, if that's the case, then just leave it to me. However, well, it won't work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm the bomb, you have to use the traitor student handbook. Damn. To be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. But I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So if things stay this way, it'll look like I lost, right? That's why I was thinking I should have another battle. Oof. So this is gonna be your last chance, traitor. What are you gonna do? Everyone's life depends on you. Whether or not you save them is up to you. Now then, I wonder how this is gonna end. Will the traitor's identity finally be revealed? Biakio walks out with an, an E handbook, scans it, and just stares everyone down. <laughs> Teru Teru comes out of the woodwork. And with that, the video ended. Traitor's student handbook? Don't tell so, so that's it? It's also a trap to weed out the traitor? Hey, hey. Is there seriously a traitor? There is. They should have come forward already. I mean, their life is in danger too, you know? That's true, but... Stop whining and complaining. We should do it one at a time. Just don't be stupid. What if someone besides the traitor uses their handbook? Hey, hey. It's really stupid to be fighting over something like this. And so with an... <sighs> Sorry. And so with an annoyed expression on her face, Jackie walked over to the bombs without saying a word. Took her handbook out of her pocket. Huh? Without hesitating, swiped the car reader. Bzz. Looks like... It was, like oh, it was wrong. It was wrong. Sorry, that's yours. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> You're good. Who's next? Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? If you made a mistake, the bombs might blow up. You think so? Hmm. But they didn't. Hey. That's just a fluke. Don't act so careless in a situation like this. Anyway. But, well, I guess Chayaki's not the traitor. I don't think the traitor would have swiped her handbook right away like she did. So what are we gonna do? Who wants to try next? Hey, hey, hey. Like I said, don't act so carelessly. Swiping the wrong card might be safe. But, on, but only once, you know? Huh? Hey, what happened? Well... It, nothing, I might just be overthinking it, but the engine somehow sounds... Just then Kazuichi's face turned pale and he rushed over the truck. And as he tilted his head toward the engine, he suddenly shouted... Ah! It, it's out of gas! What did you say? What did you say? Huh? Huh? What's gonna happen if there's no gas? Ah! I already told you, it's gonna blow! But isn't it too soon? I mean, there's still time until noon. Are you kidding me? Did Nagito miscalculate? Are you serious? M miscalculate? Arg, if you're gonna set us up, at least get your calculations right, damn it. At least Nanakuma knows how to keep a schedule. Are you serious? Hey, can't we do anything about it? Is there something we can do? Yeah, yeah it's the only thing, one, one thing left that we can do. What is it? What do we do, have to do? Pray. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking serious? Then we should run. Those words, we started sprinting away. That's when it happened. It is all right. It is not a bomb. Huh? 
Huh? All of a sudden, the inside of the factory began f overflowing with dazzling lights. Wh what the hell is this? Looks like they're fireworks. Fireworks? Oh, well, we still they're dumbfounded. The fireworks slowly decrease their intensity and eventually. Oh, um, this means it wasn't a bomb. Huh? Well, what the heck? I, I mean, Nagito said. Um. So it is just as I thought. As you thought? Hey, hey. Hey, everyone, look over there. The laptop, it looks like it's playing another video. Is it Nagito again? We immediately rush over the laptop. <laughs> so, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. Damn it! So it was all a bluff? Then, what was that bomb you detonated at the hotel? Nagito went to the octagon inside the funhouse, right? Don't tell me. Is that where he got that bomb? But it definitely wasn't strong enough to blow up an island. Nagito was lying about that. Piss me off. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If he's not, then how did he time his message so perfectly? Hmm. No, it looks like the video was set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the detonator. But why do you have to use a video message? Hey, hey. That's the... That's the Sorry. Thing I don't get. Thing I don't get. Why? Let's let's think about that after we've watched the whole thing. You're right. Hey. Uh, that is not Hajime Hinata. So how'd it go? Did the traitor come forward? If I had to guess, well, I'd say they didn't, right? So then, which is it? Game, come on, you're wrong. <laughs> It'd make me very happy if you guys could tell me. I'll be at the warehouse next door waiting for your answer. I can't believe Hajime was Nagito the whole time. From there, we'll compare our answers, and I'll let you know who the traitor really and is. Everyone thought that Makoto was was Nagito, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. See you later. The warehouse next door? That's where Nagito is? This time I'll make sure to beat the crap out of him. Then I'll deliver the final blow and smash his head in with a wrench. Bastards, what are you saying? You guys can just beat the shit out of him because I'm the one who's gonna fucking kill him. You guys, you totally flipped your lids. Now's not the time to be calm, we need to stop them. You're right, let us make haste. <laughs> Alright, Jay. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That's whiplash. <laughs> Guess we gotta run to that warehouse. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the crap out of him. Hey, I totally know how you feel, but calm down. Shut up. Huh? Everyone's feet came to a grinding halt. The red angry faces instantly transformed into a look of caution. Uh, uh, Connie, what is it? Can you hear something? It's coming from the other side of this door. The other side of this door? If you listen carefully, I can make out a soft sound coming from inside the warehouse. Music? What's he playing? Is this another one of Magito's traps? Maybe the moment we open the door, a real bomb's gonna go kaboom? Now then. Alright, let's open it and find out. Huh? Please do not, Akane. It is dangerous. Yo. It's fine. I'll open it slowly. <laughs> no, no, that's not the problem. Seriously, it'll be fine. With those two words, Akane brushed off everyone's warning and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Huh? It's not opening. Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. Hey, hey. I knew it. It's a trap. Seriously, just stop it, okay? You? Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? Just gotta use a little more force. What, what happened to opening it slowly? Connie ignored their approach and when the mind kicked, the door flew open. <laughs> Instinctively, we tensed our bodies and braced it's gonna, ourselves. It's gonna blow up, is what he said. He didn't oh. read it. Oh, I didn't realize it said anything. I just... What? That makes sense. It's gonna blow yeah. up. That makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? What happened? Yo. Look inside. It sure is dark. Looks like there aren't any lights on. Is Nagito really in here? 
Inside of the warehouse felt even darker because our eyes were still used to the bright sunlight outside. Then that darkness allowed him to bit blared throughout the warehouse at full volume. Do you guys hear something? Yeah, it's really damn loud. Does Nagito like listening to this suppressing crap? No, I'm not talking about the music. As if on cue, it suddenly started. Huh? It's on fire! You <laughs> well. A fearsome blaze suddenly began dancing inside the dark warehouse, like fiery wings spreading before Whoa. us. What? What's going on? I know. We must extinguish these flames. Let us hurry and put them out. Please don't tell me Nagito j just died like that so un unceremoniously. Hey, hey. But how are we <laughs> supposed to put this fire out? There should be a fire ex fire extinguishing supplies inside the factory break room. Perhaps we should use those. Damn it. Got it. Let's head to the break room. Go listening to Sonya, we ran into the factory. Break room is here, Gotta right? Hurry. Where are the fire extinguishing supplies? This is a weird Fuck. angle. This is a very weird angle. Used to buy a lined up plastic bottles that look like there's some kind of liquid inside them. Yeah, you found it. Those are fire grenades. Fire grenades? They're basic fire extinguishing goods. When you throw them at a fire, the container breaks and the chemical inside puts out the fire. But this is strange. The last time I peeked inside this place, I recall seeing other fire extinguishing supplies too. There should be plenty. Let's hurry up and go back to the warehouse. Grab all the fire grenades and rush back to the warehouse. Um, Make sure you don't get too close to the fire. It's dangerous. Um, Take care not to inhale the, smoke, inhale the smoke as well. We should throw the grenades from the door at the same time. It. It's like the curtain in the back is burning up. I just have to aim for that, right? I'm gonna do it. All right, let's go. We aimed for the curtain in the back and threw all the fire grenades one after the other, but... Hey, is it just me? Or does it feel like the fire's not going out at all? The curtain absorbed the impact of the throwing grenades which fell on the floor and shattered. They're completely ineffective at in extinguishing the burning does curtain. Does it not seem like the fire is intensifying? If the fire continues to rise, it will inflame the ceiling! This is bad. We've already used up all the fire grenades! What are we gonna do? All we can do now is pray for rain! Don't be stupid! There's no way it'll conveniently start raining if we pray for it! <laughs> it's raining? So this is the power of the Japanese terror terror poses! Terror terror? Jeez. That's not it. <laughs> it looks like the sprinklers activated. Yep. Oh, the sprinklers. They must have detected the smoke and turned on. Water continued to vigorously pour out of the sprinklers. After a while, the fire in the warehouse is completely extinguished. L looks like the fire is out. All right, Th that's a relief. The hell? <laughs> yeah. Man, my merch is drenched. It got splattered with water, and now it's soaked. It's so wet. Hey, hey. <sighs> hey, is it okay to look inside now? Time out! You can't! No, uh, no way! Well, why can't we go inside? Hey, um... Smoke and hazardous gas are still spread through the warehouse, so it's gotta ventilate for a while. Oh, yeah. well, I guess you're right. Be a problem if we breathed in any lingering smoke. So... so, for the sake of your health, please just wait for a little while. While you're waiting, why don't you check out the Monokuma Theater I freshly prepared? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. God, what the fuck is happening, Jack? I don't know. So Stupid. Everything is a lie! Everything? Alright, I guess you're a lie. <laughs> Monokuma doesn't exist! That's sad. The Monokuma Theater doesn't exist! Everything is fiction! There's no meaning whatsoever! Monokuma, you have no meaning whatsoever. <laughs> There's no relationship whatsoever. 
everything was made. Monokuma can't be found anywhere. I think the real Monokuma was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here anyway? Wasting time? Yes, now that the Monokuma Theater is over, I'm sure it's finished ventilating by now. Also, I'm finally starting to feel better. Just because my important merch was ruined doesn't mean I should be depressed about it forever. Whenever I feel depressed, I always ask myself this question. But hold on. Why are your eyes on the front? I got it. So we can move forward. Don't be sad about what's already happened. Be positive. True. <laughs> Ooh, we get it already. Jeez. Enough with your bullshit. I'll leave the rest to you. I'll better see you guys. Ah, I turned on the light for you guys too. You might hurt yourself if it's dark. Here. Now, now, go ahead. Go right ahead. Ahead. Perhaps. Is Nagito inside? Probably not. My luck isn't that good. Hmm. <laughs> he was in his video in his video message, but he probably escaped by now. Huh. There was so much fire and smoke, <laughs> and I thought I would finally get to beat the crap out of him this time. Well, why don't we go inside and see how it's doing? You... Hajime? What happened? Well, well, nothing happened, but... I don't know why. My heart is racing. It won't settle down. I'm scared. Some intense malice is about to stab me. Stab me through my whole body. I can't even budge. It feels like everything was too late. Why do I feel this anxious? Anyway, let's go inside. Charred odor permeated through the warehouse, and the air was so heavy that it was hard to breathe. The moment I set foot inside the warehouse, a mixture of bewilderment, anxiety, and fear took over me at once. The fucking, the fucking music here. Yeah, I agree. Well, that's what they were hearing earlier, right? It's called "Sing the Empty Happiness." Sing the Empty Happiness. Hmm. Something smells. It's not me. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. You serious? <laughs> huh? I'm Sonia say it ain't so. No, not that. It's like a smell I've never smelled before. Like a burning body, bro. <laughs> like... Well, it makes sense that there are strange smells when a bunch of different things were burned. Hey everyone, did you know about that curtain? You mean the curtain that was on fire, right? What do you mean you know? See? No. I didn't notice it until the curtain was burning, but there's space on the other side too. Well, it looked where Chiaki was pointing. There's still space beyond the burned, tattered curtain. Walk towards the burned, tattered curtain with slow, methodical steps. Never experienced such an oppressive atmosphere before, and I couldn't tell help holding my breath. And then on the other side of the curtain, I saw the true source of the intense malice that I had been feeling. There's no way. No fucking way. <laughs> My fucking favorite death in Dog and Rap. <laughs> Look at that pose. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> You're fucking joking. <laughs> so he's... His arms are tied back. Mm -hmm. So are his legs. Mm -hmm. We see a knife stabbed into his right hand. Yep. We see a bunch of stab wounds in his legs. We see a spear... Into his stomach. That's just speared into his stomach. He's got a little piece of tape over his mouth. His eyes look horrified. Mm -hmm. And then there's also that other thing with blood on it. Yep. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. 
Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy fuck indeed. What scares me is that the game wants me to think this was Sonya. <laughs> Why are you laughing like that, you schmuck? <laughs> You're a sicko. Because we're in chapter five. You're sick. <laughs> Raya, you're one sick motherfucker. I can't, I can't ever control when I am good at evil laughs. I am sometimes good at evil laughs and sometimes not. Yeah, but the problem is you're purposeful with with being good at evil's laughs. It just you exactly. during your evil mo moment, you you do an evil laugh. Exactly. Stop it. This is sick. <laughs> not in, like the good kind of sick. Like hell yeah, that's sick. But, like, but, nope, stop it. <laughs> this isn't even funny. This is fucked. I know. Fuck. I'm just laughing at you. Fuck. Fuck. Yep. Because Sonya was just at the military base digging through shit. This is true. But also, the game wouldn't make it so blatant. Probably. And if it would, this is the, the least well-done murder the series has ever done. True. Is that fair enough for me to say? Sure. Cool. I... I had no idea what I was looking at. That was nuts. Yeah. Because I thought... Akito sure went out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> I thought maybe he would have burned in the fire. Not like this. Yeah. By the time I realized I was looking at the remains of Narito Komeda, the ultimate lucky student, time had already stopped. Smile, Smile at hope, hope in, the name of despair. in the name of despair. And that it's probably where we should call it for this episode. What is your problem? Why do you like this? I thought that was the best way, the best place to end off the video. The, the session. You're a sick person. Because now next time we gotta do the deadly life, we gotta investigate, then we got a class trial. The problem is, is that we might never get Makoto again. Yeah. Which is the Maybe. best character in Danganronpa, in my opinion. Not the most interesting, but my favorite. Fair enough. <sighs> Will we ever get an explanation on, on what he was? You'll see. I hate you. You don't tell me nothing. Yeah, of course I'm not going to tell you anything. You're a sick bastard. But you'll find out. We got, you know, um, we got a fair, fair amount of this game left. We got this deadly life, and we got the class trial, and we got a chapter six. Um, but, yeah, and then we got more media. We'll, we'll, fi we'll find out. We'll get there. We'll get there. Just hold on. Fuck. Your questions will be answered. I'll say that. Are you sure? Yeah, your questions will be answered. You promise? Yeah, I promise. But at the same time, I don't think Makoto and, and, and Nagito are the same character. That's just At this point, opinion. that's a fair assumption. I think it's a fair assumption either way, but... But maybe that's also wishful thinking. Anyways, uh, cheers to the late Nagito Kamaeda, my favorite Danganronpa 2 character. You're a sick person. I'm gonna take a shot. Why? Because in, in the memory of my, my dear friend, Nagito Kamaeda. I should be happier about this. How, how, how big is a shot? I have a, I have a little thing here. It's a shot glass. I know, but I don't want to go out and get my shot glass. Then don't do a shot. Okay. 
ounce two milliliters. What is one ounce? 29 milliliters, two ounces is 50. Yeah, this is 50 milliliters. This is a shot. I've got one of those here. I'll, I'll, I'll record a video of me after the video, but um, I've got one of those fireball cinnamon whiskey, like little tiny little containers. That's like 50 milliliters. So it's, you know, a little, a little bit, it's a big shot, but it's a shot. Fuck. Um, and it's just a little bottle and it's got whiskey, fireball whiskey in it. And I'm gonna just take a shot, drink the bottle. <laughs> All right. Where's my phone? There it is. God. Fuck. All right, I'm recording. I got my little. This is the fireball whiskey I'm talking about. So this is the fireball cinnamon whiskey. Little bottle. It's 50 milliliters. Take a shot in memory of Nagito Kamaira. He shares a birthday with Jay Wilson. He does? Yeah, he does. <laughs> <clears throat> Why does that happen every time you say that? Wait, when's Makoto's birthday? It's uh, a good question. I'm Googling it. Uh, wait, I'll Google it. Okay. Uh, Makoto Nagi birthday. Good shit. February 5th. Cool, they're different characters. <laughs> they always have been and ah. always will be. I was saving that shot. I didn't know what I was saving it for, but it felt right to just take it now. I don't drink. I know. You're I not old enough to drink. I am 21. This is legal for me. Araya. You're correct. I'm not 21. Ar I'm 22. Araya's 20. Where's the police when you need them? I am 22. I was born December 17th, 2000. Cringe. 22 years ago. Cringe. Two decades ago. Cringe. <laughs> anyway, man. God, fuck. Danganronpa. I hate this should probably make a save. sometimes. <laughs> I'm gonna save. I hate this game. Yeah. It fits that that was the shortest episode of the session, because it was an intense episode. Fuck. God. Nagito is dead. I we are my, down to six people. I guess my luck was that good, huh? <laughs> no, as soon as you stopped, as soon as you focused on Kazuichi instead, as soon as you're like, nah, Nagito's not gonna die, he died. Maybe I should have said that earlier. <laughs> Which is why I thought it was funny when you said that before we recorded. Because you were like, nah, because I mean, you said, and I was like, oh, who do you think's going to die? And you're like, oh, I'm hoping Kazuichi. And I'm like, oh, not Nagito? You've been saying Nagito this whole game. And then... <laughs> Fuck. Also, you've won too many Mana Coins. I'm glad. <laughs> not 612, 613. Fuck. Go, Steamy! Our ghost Chibi Me is... Chibi Me is dead. Ghosty Me. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, this is fucked. Just like Nagito. That god, that was fucked. Yeah. What, like... Uh, one of the craziest, like, like things in Danganronpa. Like, Danganronpa 3 has got some crazy stuff, but, like... Just one of the craziest sequences of events. Like, holy shit. I think that's right? the craziest had... character death I've seen in this game series. Oh, 100%. This is a character we didn't expect to die, right? Because mm -hmm. now we're going to have a trial without Nagito, which we've not had, which is crazy, right? Um, There's going to be nobody and... pulling the strings trying to make everybody else think <laughs> something completely different. Right? Um, we Nagito called in a bomb threat. Uh, everyone believed him. He was bluffing. Uh, we looked around for the bombs, he working together. For all harbor. He wanted the traitor to come out, but uh, that didn't happen. And he planned for that. He planned for the traitor not coming out. And if that was the case, he uh, he, he set make... up the whole the, the card reader thing, yeah. right? And he set up the card reader thing after uh, you know just in the last moments of that bomb being a bluff. 
And that and means that the also... traitor killed him as well. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Then he also assumed, right, hmm. that the traitor wouldn't reveal themselves, as he mentioned in that video, and then said that he was in the warehouse. Mm-hmm. But then something must have went wrong, right? Mm-hmm. Because he ended up dead. Yep. He so had someone, to have been killed so by the traitor. What? In my opinion. Something happened. The traitor didn't want to be outed, and thus they committed murder. Something happened. It was. That was crazy. One of my favorite Sonia was definitely around. involved in some way or another. I can say that with 100% certainty. Is your Is your money, like, on Sonia as much as it pains you currently? Not as the murderer, but at, okay. with having some type of involvement or, like, having interacted with Nagito in some way right before he died. Makes sense. And he, but she could be the murderer as well. What's your thoughts on the murderer? No idea yet. I don't have anything to go off yet. <laughs> Makes sense. All right. Well, I guess we'll, uh, I'll ask you again after we do the, the uh, Deadly Life next time investigation. Yep. yep. Fuck. Yeah. My boy's... No, he... <laughs> <sighs> I had such a weird... You called him your boy. I had, you such a... him your boy. I had such a weird relationship with that character. Yes. Still have such a weird relationship with that character. The fall of Nagito Kamaeda. I deserve. He wouldn't have it any other way in terms of the way he was. It was, it was so it was so grandeur. I'm sure he he was. In the pose. I'm sure <laughs> that was more shock than it was like horror on his in his eyes. Oh yeah. I don't think him dying it would scare him that much. Yeah, I don't think it was horror. I think it was shock. Um. Like realizing, but it fits, right? Realizing what was it happening. fits that he has such an elaborate death for such an elaborate character, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so good. I had, I still have such a weird relationship with that character. There are several things that you didn't quite pick up on in the session, like what that are interesting moments that uh, foreshadow this. What? No way. Um, well, to bring your attention to a few, uh, Akane, uh, when Akane was choking uh, Nagito, Nagito said, guess you're going to have to torture me. Yeah. That's one of the things. Mm-hmm. Nagito's death looked kind of like the results of torture. Yeah. You know, like, things like that. For so, sure. We'll, we'll... Yeah, because they stabbed him in the hand and, just, and cut yeah. the hell out of his mm-hmm. legs. Not trying to sway you whether or not it's Akane or anything. I'm just, I'm just like. No, I, I, I know that, you're. Like, no, I'm. Wow, torture. But I'm saying, yeah, he definitely looked like he was tortured with how much his legs were cut up and stuff. Because usually you do that trying, yeah. trying to hurt someone more than kill yeah. them. And being bound. Yeah. So he couldn't move and stuff. And... Yeah. And that would explain how Sonia knew that it wasn't a bomb. Possibly. Because you torture someone long enough, then eventually they'll be like, no, it's not really a bomb. Mm-hmm. But, um... Good point. What else? I think, uh... I don't know. I think most of these events came back to that. I don't know. It's fascinating. Yep. We that was a that was a very interesting. Plus the name of the chapter um, always daylight. foreshadows who's gonna die, yeah. or or be involved, right? Exactly. Be involved heavily. Exactly. Like he could have been a killer, or he could have like orchestrated a master piece yeah. with you know a killer and a victim. But yeah, it knew, I it's knew fitting. it was gonna be centered around Nagito in some way. I just didn't know what. Yep. Smile at hope in the name of despair. Yep. God, dude, that's. Wild. <laughs> yeah. It's one of the mo- I think that's the most unexpected death I've had in these game, game series. Uh, yeah, 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 I think that's, I think that's a fair bet. Guess who would expect that? Because that was shocking. Well, then again, but Byakuya kept dying at the beginning of the game was also really shocking to me. That's true. It was pretty shocking. I mean, it also made sense because the devs... There were certain flags, though. The devs hate... Yeah, with how he was saying he was going to take charge and make sure no one died and everything. Yeah. 
He's like, as long as I'm alive, nobody's going to die. Plus, the devs hate spending time with a character they've already had a long time with. Yeah. Which is why they killed Biakia the way they did. Probably. Um, what was I about to say? Fuck. I think... Yeah. I don't think there's anything else left to say other than that. Just, holy shit, that was Makes nuts. Sense. Well, Jay is going to spend some time recovering. Yeah. And then... We will record more eventually. I'm going to therapy. <laughs> do some investigation. Maybe vent in the Discord for a minute. I probably need to go to therapy. Yeah. All right. Well, you want to take us away, Jay? Anyways, if I guess that's it for uh, us today, all you beautiful wild people. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. That would be greatly appreciated. Comment down below. Tell us what you thought. Subscribe with post notifications if you want to see what we're doing next. Um, what was I about to say? If Please join the Discord. We'd love to have you and talk to you about everything. If you'd like to talk about this, there's a whole channel dedicated to Dong and Rapa. Um, yeah. Follow the Twitter if it hasn't gone up in flames <laughs> like I hope it does. Um, follow the TikTok because at 100 I'm hitting a Luddy and at 200 I'm doing the Love is War dance. Um, Sounds good. And j join the Reddit because dank memes are great and we would love to experience them because I'm not good at Reddit. But if event eventually enough people are in our Reddit, I'll understand it. God damn it. Uh, the Reddit was a bad idea. Nope. Already did it. <laughs> You did it. No, we did it together, Jay. I didn't make anything. I've never made a Reddit. You made it, you, and I'm not even a moderator on it. Yeah, stop making that joke. You made the joke in the video I uploaded today. I don't ha I'm not, though. You're true. I'm you should not. make a Reddit account, Jay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, I think. That's everything I need to shout out. We also have an Instagram, but we haven't done anything with it yet. But if you like our one post that we have a bunch, then we will. Yeah, I like the. I, I, I took the one post in the, uh, when I was taking a hike in the woods. It's very pretty. And that's everything. I'm going to go cry. <laughs> Goodbye, Sounds Internet. Good. I hope you guys have a great day and night, whatever time it is for you, and we'll see you in the next one. All right. Love y'all. Take care, guys. We'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Bye. Peace. All right. You're one sick motherfucker. I know.